assalamu alaikum this is lecture number 25 and i will continue with uh, control operation of uh, the wind turbines so uh, as uh, in the ending of the previous lecture i had discussed that there are two uh, basic control mechanisms uh, for the uh, maximum power uh, tracking algorithm to uh, which can ensure that 20 to 30 percent more energy uh, can be uh, generated using uh, these schemes and these schemes were uh, the first one was the constant uh, tip speed uh, uh, ratio scheme and the second was was the peak power tracking scheme so i will continue with uh, these two the first one or the constant uh, tip speed ratio uh, mechanism in uh, this uh, mechanism are constantly operated at optimum um, tsr stored as a a reference uh, in TSR control or the controller or the computer the wind speed is measured and it is compared with the actual uh, blade tip speed the error uh, signal is fed to the uh, controller which changes the turbine speed and minimizes this error the problem with uh, this uh, constant TSR scheme is that the TSR changes with the age of the blade and there is no such uh, uh, mechanism uh, to uh, estimate that how the uh, with the uh, uh, rapid or uh, fast uh, change in time will affect or degrade the blade material and affect its uh, TSR uh, ratio and the second one is that it requires wind speed measurement and wind speed measurements are prone to errors and we had already discussed the operation of anemometer so basically in uh, using these type of techniques the anemometer is uh, used to measure the uh, actual wind speed like uh, this is the illustration of this uh, whole scheme uh, of maximum power operation using the rotor tip speed control scheme so this is the anemometer and this is the actual uh, measured speed uh, of the air that is being measured by using uh, anemometer and this is the actual desired speed at which uh, the uh, generator should be uh, moving so this is uh, fed to this comparator as well as the actual uh, wind uh, actual speed uh, wa uh, is fed to uh, this comparator or uh, now the this one is the positive and this one is the negative and these two are the uh, main uh, factors that are comprising or making the uh, error signal and considering that error uh, signal our load control uh, design uh, distributes the uh, actual current and voltage uh, voltage rating and that there it is basically adjusted with this uh, with respect to the error signal so uh, it is a feed forward uh, diagram uh, feed forward control has been implemented in uh, this uh, strategy so the next one is the peak uh, power tracking scheme uh, the peak power uh, versus uh, the speed curve has a well defined peak the flat region around this uh, maximum value and it is uh, easily detectable using uh, the uh, uh, first derivative of power with respect to speed equals zero at around the maximum power point uh, the speed increases slowly and the output power is measured if uh, the slope is positive it means that the positive uh, power is increasing with increase in rotor speed and if uh, the uh, slope of the curve is uh, negative it means uh, that it is decreasing with respect to increase in uh, rotor speed so for a maximum power this first derivative of power with respect to speed should be equal to uh, zero the benefits of using uh, this type of technique is that, uh, that it is insensitive to errors in uh, speed measurements and the turbine design so no errors uh, during either measurement of tip speed ratio uh, when it changes with respect to uh, time 
So uh, this is a basic illustration of the maximum power operation using power control scheme and using uh, this scheme we can see that it is a uh, closed loop uh, negative feedback uh, function. So negative feedback uh, function will always lead to stability. This is WA the actual uh, uh, speed uh, of the, uh, this uh, turbine or even speed and this is generating the uh, power with respect to speed curve that is uh, being used to calculate the uh, uh, error signal using negative feedback of uh, V i, uh, V and i power, uh, uh, sorry, voltage and current curves that is measured from the actual uh, load. Uh, so this is composed uh, error and this uh, block will contain our uh, the uh, control scheme. So uh, this is basically using uh, feed forward and a feed back control as well on the same time.